in a significant stride for maritime security, a noteworthy event recently took place in the Volta region of Ghana, where the US ambassador to Ghana, Virginia E. Palmer, accompanied by Ghana's chief of naval staff, Issa Yakubu, and senior officers from the Ghana Navy and the Ghana Armed Forces, embarked on a pivotal visit to the Ghana Navy Training Command, NAVTRAC. The occasion was marked by a powerful display of partnership, not merely as a diplomatic ceremony, but as a deeply rooted commitment to security and collaboration between two nations with shared values and goals. Quick reminder for those who haven't subscribed to our channel, please do so to stay updated on such insightful content and help us reach our goal of 30,000 subscribers by the end of this month. Your support means a lot. This visit was more than a routine diplomatic event. It was a moment that underscored the growing ties between Ghana and the United States, reflecting a union anchored in mutual respect and a commitment to safeguarding one of Ghana's most precious assets, its waters. The event was the culmination of efforts that had been announced over a year prior, a promise made by the United States to fortify Ghana's maritime security with new equipment, facilities and an exchange of expertise. Today, that promise took form in the shape of two state-of-the-art Defender-class safe boats and a newly constructed boat storage facility valued at over 24 million Ghanaian CDs, or approximately $1.5 million. For the uninitiated, the Defender-class safe boats are far from ordinary. These boats, specifically designed to withstand the rigorous demands of maritime security operations, are 38-foot vessels equipped with advanced technology, ensuring that they are agile, durable and exceptionally suited for patrolling the waters and responding swiftly to emerging threats. This delivery was, in fact, a continuation of prior assistance, complementing two similar boats provided last summer to Ghana's Navy Special Boat Squadron. Together, these vessels not only enhance Ghana's physical capabilities, but also symbolise the US's S unwavering commitment to seeing Ghana thrive as a regional leader in maritime security. As Ambassador Palmer stood before a gathering of military officials, dignitaries and onlookers, her words resonated deeply. The United States takes immense pride in our long-standing partnership with Ghana, a partnership rooted in shared commitments to security, democracy and prosperity, she said. This ceremony is more than just a handover. It symbolises our joint efforts to ensure the Ghana Navy is well equipped to safeguard its waters and sustain these critical assets. Palmer's words captured the essence of what this handover was all about. It wasn't merely a gift or a piece of foreign aid. It was a testament to the mutual understanding between two countries committed to protecting their interests and the well-being of their people. This gesture of goodwill is part of a larger tapestry of cooperation between the US and Ghana. Maritime security has become an increasingly critical area for both nations, especially given the rising threats of piracy, illegal fishing and other forms of unlawful maritime activity in the Gulf of Guinea. As one of the most significant shipping routes in the world, the Gulf of Guinea is vital not only to Ghana's economy but to global commerce. The waters off Ghana's coast have, at times, been vulnerable to illicit activities, which disrupt trade and threaten the safety of those who work at sea. This makes the new assets and facilities provided by the United States all the more crucial. They are tools in a much broader effort to create a safe, secure and prosperous maritime environment. It's essential to recognise that these two boats are just one piece of the larger puzzle. The newly constructed boat storage facility stands as another important milestone. Built by Seabees from the United States 22nd Naval Construction Regiment, along with the efforts of their 1st, 11th and 133rd Battalions, and Marines from the Herschel Woody Williams Marine Detachment Engineer Platoon, this facility isn't just a storage space. It is a fortress where the newly acquired boats can be maintained, safeguarded and prepared for deployment. The construction of the facility highlights another layer of the US-Ghana partnership.
showcasing not only the provision of assets, but also the infrastructure necessary to support and sustain them over the long term. The CBs, known for their engineering expertise, represent the grit and determination that the United States military is known for. Working alongside their Ghanaian counterparts, they have not only built a facility, but have contributed to a legacy of shared knowledge, skills and dedication. This construction effort reflects the US in S belief that effective security isn't just about providing equipment. It's about building a foundation that allows Ghana to operate and manage these assets independently and effectively. It is about empowering Ghana to take control of its maritime security and grow in strength and capability. As the boats were presented to the Ghana Navy, there was a palpable sense of pride and accomplishment among the attendees. The boats themselves, sleek and formidable, are equipped to serve multiple functions, whether it be patrolling the coastline, responding to potential threats or assisting in rescue operations. Each vessel is a symbol of the resilience and adaptability that both Ghana and the United States bring to their alliance. The Defender Class Safe boats embody not only strength but also the spirit of cooperation. They are designed to operate seamlessly with other maritime resources, ensuring that Ghana's navy can respond to incidents efficiently and effectively. The audience watched as these vessels were symbolically handed over, and one couldn't help but feel the weight of history in the moment. This was not just about securing borders or enhancing military assets, it was about the deeper ties that bind Ghana and the United States. Both countries, albeit separated by thousands of miles, share common ideals – a dedication to democracy, a desire for stability, and a commitment to the prosperity of their citizens. This handover of equipment and facilities is a testament to that commitment. It speaks volumes about the values that unite these two nations, despite their differences in geography and culture. The ceremony concluded, but the significance of the event lingered in the air. As the last speeches were made and the boats were officially commissioned, the assembled dignitaries and military officials took a moment to appreciate the gravity of the occasion. Here was a tangible manifestation of a shared vision, a vision that seeks to make the waters safer for all and to protect the livelihoods that depend on them. It was a moment of unity, a reminder that, in an increasingly interconnected world, the challenges one nation faces often echo across oceans and continents. Looking forward, the Defender class boats and the storage facility stand as pillars in Ghana's ongoing mission to protect its waters. With the support of the United States, Ghana's Navy is now better prepared than ever to face the unique challenges of maritime security in the 21st century. These resources are more than mere equipment. They are symbols of an enduring friendship and a shared commitment to a safer, more stable world. As Ambassador Palmer, the Chief of Naval Staff, and the dignitaries departed, there was an unspoken understanding that this partnership is only beginning. The waters that lap against Ghana's shores are safer today than they were yesterday, thanks to this alliance. This ceremony was not an ending, but rather a new chapter in the story of Ghana's security. A story written with courage, resilience, and the steadfast support of a trusted friend. In the waves of the Gulf of Guinea, these vessels will continue to tell that story, a story of partnership, trust, and a future that both Ghana and the United States are committed to shaping together. If today is your first time watching this channel or you are returning to this channel for the exciting content, please subscribe to the channel for more educative and developmental projects across Ghana and Africa as a whole. Do you want to know about the state of a project in Africa? Then make sure to like and comment the name of the project you would like us to talk about and its current state.